10 months ago, a Vermont man went missing in Costa Rica. He was found dead weeks later in a shallow grave. Well, since then, his family has been working with the Missing Americans Project to try and learn more about exactly what happened. Yeah, Local 44's Devin Bates spoke with the founder of the Missing Americans Project. He joins us now live in the studio with more. Devin? Well, Lauren and Glenn, newly released surveillance video taken shortly before Thomas Cook's death could offer some insight on what led to the tragedy. But as I found out in talking with Jeff Dunsavage of the Missing Americans Project, finding out what happens to people in situations like this is often a battle to cut through red tape. Surveillance video released by Costa Rica's Judicial Investigation Department shows Thomas Cook withdrawing money at a bank and leaving in a blue vehicle accompanied by another car. The video is dated August 23, 2018, two weeks before Cook was reported missing and just over a month before his body was found buried in a field with his hands and feet tied. Before his body was discovered, Cook's family struggled to get any helpful information from Costa Rican authorities, including bank transactions and cell phone records. That's when they contacted the nonprofit Missing Americans Project, a group that was instrumental in recovering Thomas Cook. My contact um, just began asking questions, and he's lived down there quite some time and has uh, quite a few uh, connections, uh, particularly in law enforcement. So more or less, I mean, he, he was an ear, ear, ears and eyes on the ground. Um, he was uh, able to keep a bit of a fire lit under, um, under law enforcement. Jeff Dunsavage founded the Missing Americans Project roughly 10 years ago after his brother went missing in Honduras. He called it his life's work, and even though the group's resources have helped countless families like Cook's find some form of closure, getting all the facts is a tall task. It's very difficult to um, get any kind of progress or information uh, when uh, dealing with these, these governments and the embassy, which one would reasonably think would step in to uh, help you in these areas, uh, tends not to. Costa Rican authorities released the surveillance video earlier this month in the hope that the public might be able to help with the investigation. Dunsavage was hoping for more. I found it interesting that the um, that the OIJ, the um, you know the Costa Rican FBI, uh, was making any kind of report uh, at this point on that. I was hoping for some news, um, but there was really nothing in that report that was new. As that investigation continues, Dunsavage and the Missing Americans Project are continuing to help families missing their loved ones, proving to be an understanding and helpful asset. There's an entire community of people who are suffering through this and suffering through it over and over and over again unnecessarily because the um, the resources are not being devoted to helping families in when they are in trouble or educating travelers before they go now as you saw in one of those pictures there dunsavage actually came up to vermont to attend a celebration of life party for thomas cook if you want to read more about cook's disappearance as well as watch an interview we did with his family last year you can click the link under this story on our website myshamplainvalley.com Live in studio, Devin Bates, Local 44 News.